All right, welcome back. It's uh, it's been a minute, it's been a hot minute since I've uh, uploaded anything. I'm working on some uh, videos, some of the recent live streams that I've done. I'm working on getting those from Kick to uh, YouTube, so you guys can see them. I'm also going to start. Uh, sorry, I'm in the fever. Uh, I'm also going to start uploading videos pretty regularly. Regularly. Um, so yeah, but I'm in the paper right now, and I've got three options. I'm gonna run it by you guys and see what you guys think. Um, I can lift it, put some mini tires on it, and have fun with it. Put some lines on top, that sort of stuff. I can lower it, drift it, just have fun doing that. Sorry, this is that is stupid. Um, or I can tear it apart and do a cart build like we did with the Miata cart. I thought about doing something like that, but whatever options that I get, like that's the three things I want to do. I was going to run it by you guys and see what you guys thought and go from there. So. You guys think. In other news, I have the uh, I have the new sign from the car lot. Is, if you don't know, uh, our sign got ripped from I guess like the wind. So I've got a new metal sign. Uh, it's not a, it's in my Mustang. Uh, I'm getting the sign done or not done. I'm gonna put the stickers on it or whatever. But we're getting. I'm about to lose my shit on that. Anyway, uh, anyway, um, I'm gonna take the stickers and I'm gonna put it on the sign. So I'm having the sign, and I'm having the stickers made for me. I gotta go pick those up tomorrow, and then we're gonna go out to the next. I'm gonna vlog that and show you the progress of our office. I don't think I've ever showed you guys our office. So I'll show you the progress of that. But that's the, uh, the car lot, uh, car lot update, I guess. The BMW is still running good, uh, as far as I know. Uh, I haven't had any hiccups, mechanically wise. Uh, it still shakes a little bit, the shake's going away, but I think it's because I've been doing uh, like burnouts and, and like trying to drift it and stuff like that, playing around with it. Um, yeah, the tires are getting pretty poor in. Uh, eventually I will need some new tires for it. It doesn't get driven a lot because I drive the Mustang a, a good bit, so this doesn't get driven a whole lot. So I decided to, to drive it a little bit this week. We're also trying to come up with some cool airsoft content. Um, we really want to get this community out there and and you know do some videos with it and stuff like that. Um, so my good buddy Rooster, the owner of the Screaming Goat Squad, um, the, you know the airsoft team that I'm a part of. Appreciate you guys, Milsim, the Milsim uh, spec of it. Uh, we're trying to get some videos together, to, you know, or we're trying to get together so we can come up with some sort of video form so we can, you know, I stuttered there, I don't know why. But anyway, we're trying to come up with some content to do with me, him, and Nick, and possibly some more people, but I'll keep you guys posted on that. Also trying to bring Mellow Mates back. As you guys know, I'm a producer for a podcast called... Uh, Yoder's uh, Yoder's Talk. Um, we're about to release season three, but I've got permission to use the set in between sessions. Um, I just got permission to do that. I would really love to bring Mellow Mates back with Rocky. We haven't posted in a pretty good while. Um, we had some miscommunication come through, and we both got busy, so we haven't posted in a very long time. I really love that show and I would like to bring it back in real time uh, with this set. So 
essentially we would be we would obviously be bringing um, you know our own backdrop to put up so as, you know you can't use yours talk as our backdrop so and if you're wondering what that noise is every time I take a right turn my door says it's open but it's not it's obviously closed I'll admit there are some flaws with this car <laughs> what I have decided to do is pull the doors off because I just want to do that so hopefully here soon and I mean soon I want to pull these doors off figure out how to override the door ding option because it freaking turns the lights on every time I take a right turn I'm gonna do door bars so I don't know if I'm gonna put them on a hinge just yet but I want a, a couple bars to go across and I want to do them myself I want to fabricate those myself and you know learn how to do that of course but it, both front doors will be gone and those will be in in its place i'm going to put a steering wheel in this so i can take the stock steering wheel and airbag out so regardless of what setup i go with with the beamer um the doors are going to be gone <laughs> just, there's too many scams out there for me to um find doors it's so ridiculous and so stupid so the doors are coming off regardless of what I do. Also, me and everybody else have looked up the laws against like not having doors on your cars, and there is no law against it, I guess. I mean, we've looked up everywhere. There is no like true law that says you've got to have doors on your car. So, with that being said, um, we're going to take the doors off. I think it'll be fine. Uh, the only law that I necessarily see that might affect, you know, the whole door thing is the mirror law. But in Alabama, you are only required, like I said, we looked deeply into this to figure it out. Um, in Alabama, you're only required to have one rear view mirror, and that is it. You do not have to have uh, mirrors on your doors or your fenders or anything like that. But just so I don't get you know, messed with by the police or whatever, I'm gonna put mirrors on my uh, fenders. So, that'll, oh my God, I thought that was in here. So there will be like a door bar and mirrors. So if I do get pulled over and they mess with me, you know, I'll have some sort of, you know, I'll be like, hey, uh, I got this. So you, you can't give me a ticket for that. I don't know. And there, the real, there's legit no laws against you can't have doors. And Jeeps do it all the time. Even XJ Jeeps that I used to have. You have to pull those doors off and modify modify them in order to run with no doors. So I've, I've got a whole video on how to take your doors off a, an XJ Jeep on my YouTube channel. So that I learned from another YouTube video. And I've always rode around with XJ Jeeps with no doors on them. So you can't say that it's against the law because we used to do it all the time and you know, there's also jeep wranglers that ride around with no doors on and have their feet hanging out i have no ungodly reason why you should have your feet hanging out of a vehicle while you ride down the road i have no idea why they do it but they just do it i don't know this is why they do i don't know nothing's really changed with the bmw um this is pretty much how it's always looked since i've got it I'm gonna change that though. I'm gonna do like an army green look. I've already decided I wanna do army green and white wheels. Another quick update, I do have a bobber. Um, those Jeeps I had for like the past 18 years, I was able to trade for this thing. 